Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the YouTube Ask feature, uh, which allows you to use AI and Gemini to get information about a video that you're watching. So let's say you went through and watched a video and you still had some questions. So rather than watch it again and try and figure it out, uh, you could use this tool to help you do so. All right, so we're going to be demonstrating on this video we did called How to Manually Upgrade Your Windows 11 Computer to 25H2. So let me give you a quick summary so you know what it's about so it'll make more sense when we ask questions about it. All right, so this video talks about manually doing the 25H2 update rather than using uh, Windows Update. So it involves going to the Microsoft website, downloading the Windows 11 ISO file, mounting it, running the setup program, choosing to keep your files and apps intact. Then it will reboot the computer a couple times after the installation, and then it'll have to do a one-time profile configuration, and then you'll be ready to go with the latest update. All right, so let's go click on Ask here and see what it comes up with. All right, so as you can see here, you can have it summarize the video, recommend related content, uh, why you want to manually update, and so on. Okay, so let's start with our first question here. All right, how long does it take to perform the upgrade? Except, you know, I should probably use a real question mark there. All right, so it says the manual upgrade takes about a half an hour or so, and there it shows the timestamp for it, and you can click on it to get to that part. All right, how about this? Where do I get the Windows ISO file? All right, so it tells you right here. It mentions you could get it from the Windows 11 download page, and then also gives you a link here, and then also mentions you could use the media creation tool to obtain the ISO file. All right, will it keep my files and apps? All right, so you can see here. It's designed to keep your personal files and apps, and you can click on that section here, right there. All right, let's try something else. All right, will it affect my user profile? All right, after the upgrade, it goes through a profile setup process. All right, so now let's ask it about something that wasn't in the video to see what it comes up with. All right, well, I need to reinstall my printer. All right, you can see here the video does not specifically mention whether you need to reinstall your printer, but it does state that your app should be installed. Then you can see here it adds its own information. Major Windows updates aim to keep existing drivers, but sometimes printer drivers might need to be reinstalled. So that came up with this part on its own, and this part is from the video. All right, then if you scroll down here, you get some similar questions you could ask here. So sometimes these are helpful, sometimes not so much. So I guess it just depends on what happens to be something you're interested in. All right, let's ask one more here. All right, are there any similar videos you could show me, in case you didn't like this one? All right, have a list of videos here. So there's no links right here, but it gives you some uh, videos here with some thumbnails. So these may or may not be a good match, but you could try those as well. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty nice tool here. So it could definitely come in handy if you're watching a long video and you didn't get it all. Or let's say maybe it's a long video and you don't want to watch the whole thing. You'd rather just ask some questions about it. You could give that a shot. All right. So once again, just open your YouTube video. Look for the Ask button. Click on it. Ask your questions. And that's all there is to it. All right. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.